we're really pleased to have the DCM sponsor this debate. I've been a member of the Democratic Central Committee since 2010, and I've been a lifetime Democrat and really proud of the Democratic tradition of being of service to the greatest number of people. And I'm reminded of the quote that we all love from Kennedy of the ask not what the country can do for you, but what you can do for your country, and want to see how we continue to celebrate that idea. At the national level, it's embarrassing to see the way there is a sinking into mean-spirited and accusations. And I want to say I'm committed in this county, at the local level, to be operating, focusing on the issues. What I bring to this race, I've been involved in grassroots leadership since getting started with Friends of Mill Valley back in 27. Dick Spotswood recommended at the Friends of Mill Valley model as something that would be relevant for the entire county for looking at how to bring together neighborhood and community groups to strengthen their education and their engagement and their empowerment to be able to hold on to local control in their communities. From that, I moved to the Marin Coalition and more recently in 2016 have been invited to run for the Board of Supervisors with people saying, it's time for a change. So I'm very happy to be here to say that working together, as I have a history of doing with many, many groups, we can work together to tackle those difficult problems of housing and of transportation and of pensions and of pesticide and the whole range of them. We can strengthen how we stand up against the regional influences of a lot of power and a lot of money for agencies with alphabet names operating out of sight and without our vote. So it's an honor to be running for the Democratic Stop. position. I Aye. bring transparency, fiscal accountability, Aye. and citizen engagement to this role. I think the issues around housing and transportation are really a part of how we all need to keep working together to be identifying those solutions that give us the greatest number of options. So the same kinds of transportation needs that we all face right now, being able to be able to get where we want to go with flexibility and with speed, with reliability is important, whether that happens with a bus or a ferry or with a ride share or with someone who's going to come and pick us up or with shared carpooling to various kinds of places. In housing, in housing, a similar kind of thing is true, I think, in the, tr in the ways in which we grow up in families. So most of us already know something of shared housing, and we continue to work towards the shared housing, whether it's in individual homes or in retirement centers or in shared housing in neighborhoods. So all of our roads are congested, and we need to find ways to, to reduce and mitigate the kind of congestion we have. I think first and foremost, what we need to do is stop building that's going to be adding to the congestion. Um, for example, in the third district, we're proposing, it comes up on Tuesday, to add 600 more car trips a day from Belvedere Place oh. in Strawberry Village that'll add to the congestion on Highway 131. So that's a big problem. Um, so in addition to that, you know what, uh, we, we can restrike the roads, we can synchronize lighting, we can do some, some basic kinds of things that are proven and known to make a difference for transportation. But there is the potential that we will actually be losing 500 units of affordable housing in the third district. And let me just explain that briefly, and it's all, this is still a bit of potential. Marin City, Golden Gate Village has been allowed to fall into disrepair. Some people fear that, fear that that's going to lead to saying it's too far gone, we have to tear it down and start over. And we will lose 300 units of our most affordable housing if that happens. Add to that that the Faskin Trust has purchased the Golden Gate Seminary property and proposes to tear down 219 units to replace them with 304 units of affordable housing. We must be really cautious about having 500 units of affordable housing totally destroyed in the third district. How do we go from saying we want to get more people off the road and then propose that we're going to take off the com commuter buses and eliminate buses? You know, the problem is that we have too many buses that are too big so they don't have full, full occupancy. And what we actually need are more smaller buses that run with enough regularity that people who would like to use public transportation 
can know what the schedule is and count on the buses showing up on time instead of drivers who are not showing up for work and therefore be able to use more of the bus service that will actually give all of us some relief from the traffic congestion that we have on the roads. <laughs>